Our first alert continues. Uh, we have flood watches out for parts of Connecticut right now. It's western Connecticut that's expected to see some of the highest rain totals. And this is all falling on saturated soil. So these flood watches go until Saturday morning. Litchfield, New Haven, and Fairfield counties included in these. That's where we could see two to three inches of rain with some local spots approaching four inches. An impressive amount, certainly. First alert live radar still zoomed in on the southeastern part of the state, starting to see a bigger signal here for some showers. Stonington, North Stonington, all the way up to now Norwich, Valentown, beginning to see some light showers out Colchester toward Route 2 and uh, some of that out toward Glastonbury. The statewide perspective showing uh, some showers building into Fairfield County as well. The New York City metro area looks to uh, get some of the heaviest rain from this. If you travel into the city for work, you may run into some issues tomorrow morning. On first alert, Futurecast, even statewide, we're expecting periods of heavier rain to coincide with the morning commute and we get a little bit of a lull before another round of heavy rain moves in for lunchtime and a little bit of a lull before another round of heavy rain moves in for the evening commute. So all of the commutes impacted by heavy rain tomorrow. Low visibility, ponding on the roadways, some localized flooding certainly possible. And all of this begins to wrap up Saturday morning. Here's noon Saturday. We are dry. We're done with it. And we expect that to be the case as we get a little bit later into the day. Great news for the Yukon game. The latest rain total still favoring one to two inches across northeastern Connecticut and generally east of 91. West of 91 in the Connecticut River is where we could see two to three inch totals. Again, somewhere in Litchfield or Fairfield County, we may end up with a couple towns that exceed the four inch mark. We're wet. We usually only see about 47 inches of rain for the Hartford area in a typical year. We still have three months to go and we're already above that number and we add to this tomorrow, likely a somewhat significant amount because of the saturated soils and because of the amount of rain expected. The Weather Prediction Center issuing uh, level three out of four risk here for parts of New Haven and Fairfield County. This is where we think flash flooding would be most likely. Any warnings that get issued tomorrow, take them seriously. Have a way to get warnings. A handy way to do that is with the WFSB weather app. Melissa will be here in the morning uh, guiding you through the morning commute and Jill will be here in the evening. Our first alert really focused on the travel conditions. Something else to mention here too is that if you're sending the kids out to the bus stop, uh, you know, you need uh, some substantial rain gear. Uh, especially through the morning hours. Recess inside, but the ride home will be raw and chilly. Temperatures only in the 60s. Foliage beginning to pop up across the state right now, too. The combination of uh, periods of heavy rain and a breeze, wind gusts around 15 to 20 miles an hour, will bring some of those leaves down, and wet leaves can be quite slick. The persistent east wind, perhaps allowing for some minor coastal flooding, especially in parts of Fairfield and New Haven counties, too. Here's a live look in our ICAM and stores. Clouds beginning to thicken up steadily building in a live look in our ICAM New Haven. Similar conditions dry right now, but we do expect that to change. In the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Philippe and Tropical Storm Rena. Watching those closely to see how they interact with one another. Tomorrow, highs only about 60 to 65. It's rainy, it's gray, and while we're focused on the rain tomorrow, Saturday in East Hartford, things will be trending much better for the Yukon game, drying out as the day goes on. But we're giving you the first alert to a very wet day tomorrow with impacts to all of the commutes. By Sunday, drying out, looking beautiful. Sunny skies into Monday, too. Tuesday, 79 at the shoreline. 82 inland, and we keep the sunshine and the warmth around for most of next week. All right, sounds good, Mike. Thank you very much.